expect more to come, Alan Smith, don't we? Here we are at a quarter-final now. Yeah, and two strong sides. The, the best probably both managers could have picked, so I think we're in for a good game here. And the game today, Leeds United against Arsenal. Leeds United back in action again after their last game, which was away, and they drew against Rotherham United. Yeah, they were, they were OK without being spectacular in that 1-1, but uh, I think they might lose here today. Check for you on the Leeds United lineup. It does look more like 4 4 1 1 than 4 4 2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield. And when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre forward, he can supply the bullets, he can get in the box and give his teammates some company. Get the impression with Arsenal. They are a superbly well run club, and of course, they've had the stability of Arsene Wenger for so many years to help give that impression. Do you think that's how we should really look at them closely? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a, a growing section of fans that have become tired of Arsene Wenger and they feel there's a need for a change. I can understand that to a certain extent. It's not cheap to go and watch Arsenal these days. Pablo Hernandez. Saw the pass coming and got there first. It's looking good, this move. Makes a challenge here. Good defending. And back to the feet of Green. Giving the ball away. Could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. He's got his tackle in, and the ball's gone out now. El Neni. Alex Oxley chamberlain And the cross coming in. Trying to cross it, and in the end, a bit of a waste, I think. Attacking well here. Well back! Terrific stop. Corner for Arsenal. Down. Pressure on, another corner. <laughs> Strong, powerful clearance. It is corner after corner. Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt and it's the speed of the of this player and it's something you can't coach obviously when he gets going when he's a mind to it he's uh, he's not going to be caught well that's the sort of corner that frustrates the coaches because they obviously have plans the delivery wasn't good enough it's good play until they got that challenge in Pablo Hernandez, with some potential in this move. And the cross comes in now. Taylor.
Liam Bridker. Comes in with a tackle. Could be dangerous. Got to be. And it's into the back of the net. And they're in front now. Part of their way of playing here to get wide and get the ball in as quickly as possible. And they've caught the defence out again. Yeah, no wonder the goal scorers going across to thank the lad that swung in that cross. It was a beauty. And that's uh, taken us aback a bit because Leeds United are leading. Mohamed El Neni. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. The shot's off. Oh, it's over the top. Jansen. Liam Bridcut. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacha. He does read the game well, this lad. Santi Cazola. Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Well, There's good progress with this attack. Excellent passing, great interplay. He's better usually at crossing than that. It was a defender who got there first quite easily, actually. Here's a chance to attack. And here's the cross, tries to punch it away. Oh, in goes the cross. Well, they're good at corners, let's see what this one brings. What we've got here is the home team winning, but the away team frustrated because it looks like there's a running down of the clock going on here. Yeah, there's a bit of gamesmanship going on, but you've got to expect that as they try and see out this lead that they've got. Alex Iwobi. Crisp defending there. By Arsenal standards, this has been pretty awful uh, to this point, but of course they have the capacity to turn games around and they'll need to reach into those deeper recesses to find the sort of form that's eluded them this far in this game. He's coming forward with some danger. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Taylor. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Santi Cazola intercepted well. Comes in strongly. Liam Bridcut. Two ooze around the uh, crowd for a three minute add on, which is what we're going to get for added time. And shoots! Goalkeeper hangs on. Attacking well here. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. 
place in the semi-final not yet guaranteed, not by any means, but you'd rather be in their position than in the opposition's position. Yeah, and I think they'll be expecting better, a fight back from the opposition in the second half, they've got to be wary of that. well here well back terrific stop And the managers decided for a change of personnel. There goes the whistle. Second half starting of this English League Cup quarter-final. Well, we've seen some standout performances in the first half. I wonder if those lads can carry it through. It won't be. He's got his tackle in, and the ball's gone out now. Attacking now. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Mohamed El Neni. It's an exhibition here with such great passing. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Pablo Hernandez. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Now they've got it. The break is definitely on. He's had a go here. Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacho. I don't know whether they'll be able to keep this up. They've still got the lead. Well, they've come out with that fierce determination that underdogs do have quite often. Determined not to roll over and be beaten, but still some work to do. Being uh, moved around nicely here with this passing game. He's got his shot off now. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. A reminder for you that on EA Sports we're covering the EFL Championship fixture. It's Leeds United and they'll be hosting Aston Villa. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Pablo Hernandez. Here's a chance to attack. They put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper positively off his line makes the ball his. Now it goes into the wider area. Oh, too early offside. Defense squeezed. They knew they'd caught their man off. Nacho Monreal. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Rushing it here, moving from one side to the other. Brilliant team play this. 
with the passing, the movement off the ball to make the passing possible. Still 20 minutes to go. Into the attacking third. That could open them up. Shots off. It's in. Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. And what a finish it was. First time, side foot, didn't need to whack it. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. It's going to be a substitution for Arsenal. Carl Jenkinson. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. To get back in the game. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacho. Challenges for the ball. Good forward play from them. Promising build up until that challenge. Arsenal closing in on what will be a defeat here in a shock one. They haven't been at the races today. Defender to it first. The shot's on. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Pablo Hernandez. Taylor. There's good progress with this attack. Ike Nacho. The break is definitely on. Up line, Anders. Terrific stop. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match, number 20. Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Santi Cazola is coming forward with some danger. Through pass. Olivier Giroud. He went in well. The crowd uh, may be expecting. This is how they love to play on the break. Got to be. Well, in the clear. And he's made a total hash of it. Just panicked, I think. He lost his nerve at the vital moment. comfortable margin of victory the final whistle has gone the game is finished and the final score is 2-0 this great cut run is going on they've got the right result here in the quarter final they're into the last four i think thoroughly deserved as well martin they really were the better team here some final thoughts on one of the better performers today alan got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift excellent performance